Hi guys, it's me Jimmy at Geek Nvidia has finally launched Shh, because Nvidia don't want us to know that GTX 960, GTX 950, GTX 940, GTX 930M the mobile GPU is out Shh, keep quiet and keep it a secret because Nvidia doesn't want us to know What the F is me Jimmy at Geek so basically why the hell NVIDIA silently launching without any marketing I mean NVIDIA is a big giant compared to AMD but why the hell NVIDIA just silently launching them while GPU and then updating the GTX 950, 40 and 30 and 60M while GPU because the problem is that nobody cares shit to NVIDIA why number one GTX 970 4 gigabyte RAM issue where you can only access 3.5 gigabyte of RAM if you try to access more than 3.5 gigabyte of RAM the performance drop dramatically number 2 GTX 960 underperforming and over hype graphical which is a 128 bit bus graphical even in some games AMD RNA 270X beat the hell out of GTX 960 number 3 AMD got everything under their belt. How? Here is the story that Xbox One using AMD, PS4 using AMD, Mantel quite a good success story, but Mantel is just I mean how to say in a prototype or beta phrase, or you will disagree with, with me. But according to me, that it will take at least two years to Mantel technology to become stable. So I mean basically Nvidia really doesn't want us to know even the GTX Titan X to be honest with you 999 is so freaking expensive compared to the AMD Rnet 390X which just cost you 549 bucks and they give you more performance than a GTX Titan X Nvidia is already in trouble but I think so my opinion is that Nvidia wanna save the money whenever you launch even a single stupid product you need to do marketing for marketing you need to spend millions of dollars if not billions even for a smaller mobile GPU but Nvidia says screw you we are just gonna I mean throw our mobile GPU out in the laptop if anyone I wanna use just use it basically the MSI the quite a good laptop company a lot of gamer like MSI laptop they just update their all their new laptop with the uh, 900 series basically we already know GTX 980 and 70M are already out and then now again they just updated with the GTS 60, 50, 40, 30M so you will be thinking the what are the specs let me tell you the specs basically the GTX 960M for uh, come with a 2 gig of RAM even the uh, 50M come with 2 gig of RAM 40M come with 2 gig of RAM and then finally GTX the lower entry graphic mobile GPU 930M even come with a 2 gig of RAM now let me tell you the the back power of it the CUDA core GTX 960M have 640 CUDA cores GTX 950 has 640 CUDA cores so basically for me I will just go with the GTX 950M laptop if I was thinking to buy rather than buying the GTX 960M they have the same performance why the hell should I pay few more bucks if I can get the same price laptop I mean I have a choice that I can choose 960M or 50M the price is same then definitely I will go with the 60M but if the price is different then I will just go with the 50M GTX 940, 940, GTX 940, 930M are the entry level graphic card so now let's talk about the CUDA code GTX 960 and 950M offer the same amount of CUDA code which is 640 CUDA core and the GTX 940 and 30 M doesn't offer the same amount of CUDA core. GTX 940 offer 384 CUDA core versus GTX 930 the, the below the minimum the entry level graphic card offer only 256 CUDA core. So my personal bet is that the sweet spot for entry level mobile GPU is GTX 940. If we have some few bucks, a few. Uh, extra money in your back pocket definitely go with the gtx 950 i i don't see really any good reason to choose gtx 960 m over gtx 950 and basically they offer the same amount of the cuda core now let's talk about the ram gtx 950 and 960 offer you the gddr5 ram and the gtx 930 940 offer you the ddr3 ram if you don't xbox one is giving you ddr3 ram 
what's the ps4 is giving you gddr5 gddr5 ram give you more than 5 gigahertz performance versus ddr3 which give you around 2.2 sometimes 3 gigahertz performance but if you do the number mass calculation according to my opinion the gddr5 2 times 5 times faster than the ddr3 so let's make some things clear the below entry level graphic card come with ddr3 which are gtx 930m gtx 940m the gddr ram come with gtx 950 and 960m it's up to you basically i will say if you really want to do some casual gaming go with gtx 940m if you really want to do some kind of motor gaming then go with gtx 950m if you really want to do the high-end gaming like playing crisis for the upcoming crisis definitely go with gtx 970 980 and i hope this answered the question bye bye